Hi guys, my name is Rashida Gray of Gray Space Interior Design and you are watching Gray Space TV. So much for joining us on our second episode of our YouTube channel. For those of you who had a chance to watch our first episode, thank you. We have received quite a few letters into our inbox. So thanks to everyone who wrote into Dear Gray Space. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is broken up into kind of two parts. One is Dare Gray to us, and we will answer your design dilemmas on the air. Secondly, it's our live reveal. On today's episode, we received a letter from one of our This letter is about someone who just moved into an apartment. They're looking for some design advice. Dear Gray Space. I recently moved into a new apartment, and now that I'm finally sort of done unpacking everything i need some help to make this drab bedroom into a feminine retreat for myself let me just tell you guys i really love designing bedrooms i don't know why but maybe it's because it's like for me a bedroom is always the last thing on someone's space like we always want to make sure that our living areas and our kitchens are beautiful for when we have company but we kind of forget the bedrooms and it's a place where you come to relax at the end of the day. So I like to make those spaces beautiful for my clients. I really like designing bedrooms. Anyways, back to the letter. My challenges are generally designing something that's feminine and warm. I also need ideas on how I can work my TV into the space and highlight my window as it has a great view and brings in lots of natural light. I'm looking forward to some much needed design advice. Thanks, Grace Bates. A couple things. So I'm looking through the pictures. You mentioned that you live in an apartment. Um, I mean, the very first thing that kind of comes to mind for me, and I always share this when I talk to my clients or when I have a consultation with anyone, paint. I think paint is the most affordable, easiest way to hugely transform a space. So if you can paint, you're in an apartment, so I'm not sure if you're able to, but if you can paint, I would strongly advise that you do so because that will really bring this space to life because with the beige carpeting and the beige walls it's kind of bringing it down a bit so if you can paint paint the space I would love if you could just paint an accent wall like maybe they won't let you paint the whole room but maybe you can just do an accent wall Where you have your bed is perfect. I would not move the arrangement of your furniture. I think that's the best wall to have your bed on. Um, so if you could paint behind that wall of your bed, that would look amazing. Or even like um, some semi-permanent wallpaper, but something that will focus the eye to that spot because we're about to go all in on the bed. One of the very first things I would recommend is to get a headboard. You already have a great foundation with your bed, so you don't necessarily need an entirely new bed, which is great because it helps on the budget. At the end of the bed, you have some space between your natural walkway in the room and the end of the bed. So with that, I would recommend a, maybe an ottoman. you mentioned in the space is the TV. Well, I think some people are like, no TV in the room, absolutely not. But for me, I'm one of those people that actually need the noise and the blue light of the TV to fall asleep. I don't know what it is. I would hide your television in a piece of furniture, like maybe an armoire or a media cabinet or something like that. wanted to talk about the natural light in the space first of all whatever is behind those vertical blinds is probably huge it looks like it is which is great you have a lot of natural light in the space and we want to take advantage of it what concerns me is the vertical blinds like can we take them down get rid of them or something I don't know but let's make that space beautiful by adding some window treatments 
So I would certainly, you have a lot of space between the top of the window and your top of your ceiling. And the ceiling seems, it could be the angle of the picture that you sent in, but the ceiling seems to be a little low. A way to kind of trick the eye and make that area look taller than what it is. So put your curtain rod six to eight inches above your natural window line. And then also make it maybe six or eight inches wider on both sides. That's going to highlight that space. Those beautiful curtains are going to drape that window so nicely, make it look bigger and wider and really give you the focus on the area where you get the most natural light. So before you go out and buy curtains, be sure to measure from that six to eight inches above to the floor. Um, in most cases, it's gonna be more than the standard curtain size. So standard curtains are 84 inches. I probably use 84 inch curtains 20% of the time. For most of my projects, I use 96 and above. So you wanna make sure that you measure so you know exactly what size curtains work for your space. So that takes care of kind of warm and feminine, it takes care of your natural light. It takes care of your television storage. There's a couple other things that I would just add to make your space really warm and really feminine. I would fill it out with some nightstand. So if you could, I would purchase maybe, um, and I like to do this sometimes where the nightstands aren't matchy matchy. It really depends on the space. But it looks like the space on the side of your bed might be a little smaller than a standard nightstand. So typically nightstands are anywhere between 28 and 30 inches wide. In this case, you probably have less space than that. So here's what I would do. I would actually do like a nightstand or a chest, something really pretty, maybe even mirrored on one side. And then I would do like a table, like an end table on the other. Something petite, small, super feminine, maybe with some curved legs, legs at the bottom. Um, one, it's visually beautiful to kind of mix and match and it gives you interest. But two, um, it helps you save on space. You still have the function and the storage of the nightstand chest, but you still have the beauty of the end tape. And it's still giving you symmetry because you have something on either side. It's going to look great. Additionally, I always, especially in small places, I always try to find a way to use mirrors. Um, so if you could purchase a floor length mirror something that gives you a full body selfie <laughs> if you could purchase a full length mirror that would be great because what it will do is uh, the reflection from the mirror kind of bounces off all this natural light that you're getting in the space and if you position that mirror right before you go out the door be able to get some of the lighting from the window because it's opposite of the mirror so now you have the light reflecting it's just going to be beautiful if you could add some nightstands add a mirror don't forget beautiful bedding whatever you have usually our beds are the largest things in our bedroom so if you splurge on one item in this space i would make it the bedding because it's going to feel good it's going to look good and you really want soft and feminine and warm and that will give it to you. So I think that's about it. I would say focus on storage with the armoire and the ottoman. Make sure that you have a really nice upholster headboard, some beautiful bedding. Maybe your pillows are soft and luxurious as well. Beautiful curtain panels to really highlight that natural light that you get through the window. A mirror and you're good to go. So have fun decorating. If you have any after pictures, send those in to us. We would love to share with our viewers. So guys, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. If you us like today. this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're not going to want to miss the next video. It's a live reveal of one of our projects. And if you have any design dilemmas, please write into info at graspaceinteriordesign.com. Thanks guys so much for joining us today and we'll see you next time.